afternoon guys, it's the 5th of November today, bonfire night tonight. Um, no fireworks for us though, because we did all ours last night. Well, unless the shed catches fire, then there will be some fireworks. So today, we are off to INSAT, um, well I'm off to INSAT. If you don't know about INSAT, um, basically it's a company which um, is owned by my good friend um, Jimmy, and they do a lot of things, but one of the things they do, one of the things he does is actually make really high performance e-bike batteries um, and you know not I'm not talking like the stuff that I've just been doing in my shed I'm talking like the proper real deal um, copper interconnects and, and all sorts of stuff he's very very talented very very experienced and he's got some great equipment so today we're gonna pop there we're gonna check out what he um, what he does on a daily basis really excited about this That's the way I look at it anyway. So I'm here with the battery master, Jimmy, um, and he's amazing sunstone welder, look at this. So we're just measuring, we're just measuring resistance on, um, yeah, measure the we've got a nickel strip, nickel strip and we've got a copper strip. So this yeah. is a difference, guys, that under here we've got the meter. So that's the nickel one, is it, Jimmy? Yeah. 10.54, or fluctuating around there, so 10.5 something. That's for the nickel. Yeah. And then on the copper, it goes to one. <laughs> so that's the difference. It's 10 to one. It's 10 to one. That's why we were doing, we were kind of messing around with um, showing the resistances of, of the copper and the nickel because all Jimmy's interconnects are done with copper, which as you know, is a seriously good, it's not the best conductor of electricity. That's silver, isn't it? Yeah, five percent. But you're not going to put silver in, a, in an e-bike battery, really, are you? <laughs> it's only five percent. And what's this? This is what's this thing here? It's the Orion. Oh, this is the control center for that. That's the control system for that. Yeah. Okay. Look at all this copper. Well, you know, if I was very tidy, and that means <laughs> you means you're not doing anything. I wasn't doing it right. Doing much work. <laughs> so this battery is like a thirty-six. So is it a thirty-four amp hour? I think it's about thirty-four, isn't it? 36. Oh, 36. Um, yeah, just lose count when you get such big batteries, but um, and 72 volts. So this is something we're just playing around with. There's a lot of these Boston Power Swing 5300 servers around. Um, I've noticed, and apparently, yeah, these are these are really really good. How many cycle life? 3,000. 3,000. Yeah. And that's at what, like 80 percent or something? Yeah. Very good. And I mean, the discharge isn't crazy on these, is it? But it's... It's 13 amps. 13? Yeah. Yeah, so, but I mean... But that's a safe 13 amps. Yeah, that's a sort of safe level. And that's what you want, really. Don't want to be like me and just like destroy packs one after the other. To be honest, I don't think that pack, the first pack we were messing around with, that was, that was, we were talking more about this and why there was an issue. And we think it was the charge rate. Um, the actual charge rate because on the adapter controllers you can you can have like a 35 amp charge rate and that is probably too much isn't it i would say so yeah yeah i would say so any, any evidence you know 30 amp have you measured it maybe it generates even more that's the thing isn't it yeah it could be it could be more so you just don't know um so i mean with charge rates it's just if you don't need to charge it quickly, then just don't because it's the same as it's probably probably worse damage. Worse damage can occur on high, higher charge rates than it can on high discharge um, because your ch higher charge rates are going to be all the time, um, like a continuous whack of current. Whereas your yeah, high discharges are done as bursts and stuff. Three kilowatt hour pack in progress. <laughs> Jimmy's got a theory. Jimmy's got a theory. Jimmy's got a theory, I've got shaking hands and he thinks I was playing with myself. <laughs> I, I had one guy who sent me two batteries, you know, and they were both, Just one of them was like charcoal, you know. <laughs> I said, what's happened to this? It makes you worry, doesn't it? It really makes you worry. It's on the final strap. That's it. That's heavy, mate, isn't it? It's not too bad, you get used to it. Nice joints. Yeah. So many batteries around here. I don't know how this guy sleeps at night. <laughs> I sleep easy, mate. <laughs> when you've made all the batteries, then... 
guys so i'm on the way back it's dark i've literally been at inset for i can't even recollect it's like a time warp i've just been in there and but jimmy he's just such a fantastic bloke like he's just got so much knowledge and it was just fantastic just kind of turn the radio down just just having a good chat with him and kind of yeah just chilling just hanging with someone that's kind of got the same passions and the same enthusiasm for all this all this stuff um, so I've got a massive battery which we've been talking about kind of putting together he had some cells that he wanted to get rid of and and yeah basically it's going to be another video um, that side of things but so if you need a high power pack and you don't want to build your own one like I did and kind of you know go through that sort of headache and you want something that really does perform properly with copper interconnections I mean you saw the way he kind of builds the packs and you know that level of, of kind of engineering is just yeah i mean you're not going to get that anywhere else so go and go and check him out i'll leave his um kind of information below in the description don't rock up to their offices but um you know even though i did uh, but we kind of had an appointment but don't don't go and just rock up there because he is extremely busy and you know the guy is stretched as as he can be i think that kind of that's kind of evident by by you know showing um, you know his workshop and how many batteries and stuff that he has yeah it's been a wicked day it was also really good to meet the team there as well um jim and mary and mitch as well like just great people in a great uk company but anyway that's going to be it for this one hope you enjoyed watching i'll catch you in the next one guys